welcome back to my channel guys please remember to subscribe subscribe so you review, you receive notification whenever I, I upload a new video okay this is math clinic guys meet to master you are meet to master as you watch this channel you master my you master mathematics you master your bible you master your your living your academic career you master everything okay just subscribe to this channel and remember to subscribe okay so today we want to discuss symmetric properties of the root of quadratic equations okay in the previous lesson we looked at the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation okay so now if the general form of quadratic equation is given as ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero then you know the roots we have chosen them to be alpha and beta and then the sum of the roots is alpha plus beta which is minus b over a and product of the roots is, is alpha beta which is c over a okay so if you have forgotten the proof of this formula just check into our channel and watch the video we did on sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation now by the symmetricity of the roots we mean that it is either alpha equal to beta or alpha equal to minus beta okay so if you have a uh, one over alpha then the expression symmetric to one over alpha will be one over beta okay so you interchange them and then here we call it manipulation of the root of quadratic equation but before we discuss of uh, examples on this we would like to look at some basic formula okay let us look at this formula and prove them using identity the first one is alpha plus beta square you know from identity a plus b square okay from identity theory uh, a plus b square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square okay so if you apply that in this equation you are going to have uh, you will also have something like that so let a equals to alpha and b equals to beta so you have alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square okay so bringing alpha square and beta square together we have plus 2 alpha beta now making alpha square beta square the subject of the formula we have alpha plus beta square equal to alpha plus beta all square minus 2 alpha beta okay that is formula one formula number two we would like to put a is alpha minus beta square okay so you remember also as well from identity that if you have a minus b or square you can expand it as a square minus 2ab plus b square so applying this formula also in this equation that we have here we are going to obtain um alpha square minus 2 alpha beta plus beta square okay so if you rearrange that you have alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta so you know from equation 1 alpha square plus beta square has been given we are found it to be in form of alpha plus beta alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta so if you substitute that here you have alpha plus beta all square minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta so uh, minus 2 alpha beta and minus 2 alpha beta will give us alpha plus beta all square minus 4 alpha beta and this expression is known as alpha plus beta square so if you are looking for only alpha minus beta you are going to have alpha minus beta equal to square root of in here alpha plus beta all square minus 4 alpha beta and it becomes another formula so the last formula we would like to prove under this uh, one is um, uh, alpha cube plus beta cube alpha plus beta all cube okay. now 
from the expansion of this from this expansion uh, from this expansion we have over there we have uh, can expand a plus b raised to power 3 which is a plus b or uh, into a plus b square or you simply use your binomial expansion okay square so this expansion will give us a plus b into a square plus 2ab plus b square okay and uh, we expand further we are going to have a raised to power 3 plus 3a square b plus 3b uh, a b square plus b cube okay that is what we have so if we substitute all of this formula into alpha beta taking alpha equal to a and beta equal to b we are going to have uh, alpha cube plus 3 alpha square beta plus 3 alpha square beta plus beta cube so this can give us if we rearrange for the alpha cube plus beta cube plus 3 alpha beta that is common factorized alpha plus beta okay so if we make alpha cube beta cube plus beta cube the subject of the formula will have alpha plus beta all q minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta and this becomes another formula okay so this is called manipulating expressions involving the roots of quadratic equation and depending on whatever you are given guys you can always manipulate okay so let us check into this the following examples examples write each of the following expression in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta write each of the following expressions in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta so pick them one after the other so let's start with number one number one is 2 over alpha plus 2 over beta okay so this one can be given as if you take the lowest common multiple you have alpha beta so multiply out you have 2 beta plus 2 alpha so if you rearrange to give you 2 alpha plus 2 beta all over alpha beta and if you factor out 2 you have 2 into alpha plus beta on top of alpha beta okay and you have the expression written in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta and that is called manipulating the roots of quadratic equation guys very easy and simple and interesting one over alpha square beta plus one over beta square alpha you are rewriting in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta if you take the lowest common multiple here you have alpha square beta square alpha square beta square and alpha alpha square beta and alpha square beta square will give you beta and here will give you alpha so if you rearrange this one you have alpha plus beta all over alpha square beta square and then you can Combine alpha plus beta, uh, alpha square beta square as alpha beta all square, and then you have the expression written in form of alpha plus beta and alpha beta, and you are done. Number three, alpha over three beta plus beta over three alpha. If you notice. In all these examples, there is symmetric property in everything we are doing. Okay, there is symmetric property, so they are always symmetric. Whenever the roots are symmetric, you can write them in form in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So here, if you take the lowest common multiple of this, you have three alpha beta. So three beta here will level alpha square 
plus 3 alpha b 3 alpha here will give us a beta and if you multiply your beta square now remember that alpha square plus beta square is alpha plus beta minus 2 alpha beta so if you substitute that into the equation there you have alpha plus, alpha plus beta all square minus 2 alpha beta alpha in over 3 alpha beta and then you have the answer another example example 4 Example 4 alpha square beta plus beta square alpha. See if you factorize this one, uh, what is common is alpha beta in this place will, will be left with alpha, and in the second term you will be left with beta, and then you have the answer. Uh, another example uh, number 5. Sample number 4 2 alpha minus 1 into 2 beta minus 1. Hope you are following, guys. Don't oh, have not too fast. Okay, if you expand this one using an identity, you will have uh, the expression to be 4 alpha beta. Okay. Uh, minus 2 alpha minus 2 beta minus 1 times minus 1 will give you plus 1 okay so if you factorize the 4 alpha beta minus 2 is common there uh, into alpha plus beta plus 1 we have the answer so the last but not the least number 6 we have alpha plus 5 over beta plus beta plus 5 over alpha okay so if you take the lowest common multiple of this one lowest common multiple is alpha beta lowest common multiple is alpha beta so beta here we have alpha then we have alpha into alpha plus five plus alpha here will give us beta so beta into beta plus 5 then we can expand further here this one we have alpha square plus 5 alpha plus beta square plus 5 beta everything over alpha beta okay so if we bring the like terms together we have alpha square plus beta square plus 5 alpha plus 5 beta all over alpha beta okay so a uh, factor out five from alpha five alpha and five beta and that will give us uh, alpha square plus beta square okay plus five into alpha plus beta all over alpha beta okay and the alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta all square minus 2 alpha beta plus 5 into alpha plus beta all over alpha beta and then that is the required expression okay so this is how to write expressions in terms of alpha beta so the next example is you are given a value and you are asked to substitute okay so uh, another set of examples examples okay given that alpha plus beta equal to three minus three and alpha beta equal to nine okay find the values find the value of Find the value of A, let's call it number 1 guys, A, alpha square plus beta square. So we take it one after the other. Let's take 1, alpha square plus beta square. Now, alpha plus beta is minus 3, alpha beta is 9. So for number 1, 
alpha plus alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta or square minus 2 alpha beta and this is minus 3 all square minus 2 times 9 which is 9 minus 18 which is minus 9 okay number 2 alpha cube beta plus beta cube alpha so if we factor out alpha uh, and beta here we be left with alpha square plus beta square okay and of course you know that alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha uh, alpha plus beta minus 2 alpha beta okay so substituting what we have in the equation if we substitute uh, what we have over there you are going to have Uh, you are going to have something like that okay so substituting what you have guys you have um, um minus three into alpha plus beta remember there is square here uh, alpha square beta square is 9 that will be 9 into minus 3 square okay minus 2 into alpha plus beta alpha beta which is 9 and then we can, we can close the bracket here so this is 9 into 9 minus 18 which is 9 into minus 9 which of course will give us minus 81 okay um, number three alpha over beta plus beta over alpha so if we take the lowest common multiple we have alpha beta here give us alpha square plus beta square and can be rewritten as alpha plus beta all squared minus two alpha beta all over alpha beta so substituting minus three for alpha plus beta and 9 for alpha beta will arrive at a minus 3 square minus 2 into 9 all over 9 okay this is 9 minus 18 all over 9 which is minus 9 over 9 and which is minus 1 gosh so this is alpha manifold expressions in form of in terms of alpha and beta and then so in the next equation, we will look at how to formulate new equations with new roots. Okay, how we can formulate new equations from all these expressions we are manipulating. See you in the next video.